how to study therapeutics and pharmacology and if you are second year student or third year student this video is all for you so hello everyone welcome to drx new vlog and in this vlog we gonna tell you how to study pharmacotherapeutics and pharmacology because pharmacotherapy and pharmacology is the two most important subjects in uh, pharmd it will help you further also in your life so most of the student ask in comment section ki how we study pharmacotherapy pharmacology if notes are not sufficient what are the online sources and so right now we are going to hospital and it is our fourth day my in neurology ward and pragya in gastrology Gastro ward so let's start this vlog so we guys completed our 6 months of internship and Yay. the rest 6 months are left and after every 2 months we have to show the crf forms to our teachers and this time we have we also have to show logbook so this is our logbook draft version <laughs> first we have to take cases of every ward and so first is rotation unit it means in which department you are posted and period from means from when to when ha uh, from when to when you are posted chief hod unit chief and hod and clinical preceptor sign so this is the performa like it includes all the things and every week we have to take only two cases now we are back from hospital and we have completed our logbook and tomorrow is our submission so we are so almost excited. ready <laughs> not excited we are ready so what gonna happen with us now moving to the main point of this vlog which is how to study therapeutics and pharmacology and if you are second year student or third year student this video is all for you so to start with pharmacology let's define pharmacology pharmacology is a subject in which we study about the classification of disease drugs and their mechanism of action how they work in our body now talking about pharmacotherapeutics in pharmacotherapeutics we study about dose regimens dose calculation drug of choice and also we study about the treatment guidelines according which was given by WHO, WHO and NABH yeah so now how to study pharmacology and therapeutics now you can't study pharmacotherapy and pharmacology separately you have to combine these two subjects to understand the mechanism and dose and drug of choice of that particular disease so you have to study both in one frame yes so you have to study pharmacology with therapeutics first you have to study pharmacology then later goes when the classification ends then you go to therapeutics and nilesh also lactulose we use in constipation hmm. it is an osmotic laxative but it can also be used in hepatic encephalopathy so one drug but multiple actions we're so talking about pharmacology so you have to mainly focus on the mechanism of action of the drug let's understand this with an example like what pragya says lactulose so about lactulose it is a osmotic laxative which is a class of lactulose mechanism of action of lactulose so lactulose is work on a principle of osmosis it draws the water in the intestine that makes stool soft na let's make the stool soft and easier to pass so this is pharmacology like nilesh has said uh, classification and mechanism of action now moving to therapeutics now in therapeutics we cover four things number one the uses of lactulose number second side effects and number third what are the dose one should have and number fourth dose calculation talking about the uses lactulose is used in constipation and second is hepatic encephalopathy what are the side effects of lactulose so abdominal pain diarrhea and nausea vomiting and flatulence hmm. so why we are talking about side effects because some patient have some side effects so we as a clinical pharmacist have to monitor all the side effects yes. like if patient is suffering from that or not so lactulose is available in two forms one is powder form and second is liquid suspension form so it is advised to taken at bed time for 2 weeks once daily and it takes 6 to 8 hours to show its action therapeutics is divided into two parts first is pharmacological treatment and second is non pharmacological treatment 
and whatever we have talking till now about pharmacotherapy is comes under pharmacological part yes so in non pharmacological part we we cover patient counseling then we give diet chart to the patients and uh, if the patient is chronic smoker or alcoholic we try to convince the patient like you have to quit the smoking or quit alcohol these are the drawbacks for uh, alcohol and smoking also we convince the patients who are chronic smoker bd smoker or alcoholic patient we convince patients to go rehabilitation center for example talking about lactulose if as a clinical pharmacist i ha- we have to give counseling to any patient more fibrous food drink at least 8 to 10 glasses of water exercise daily and do not hold the stool because it can worsen the bowel issues yes so this is how we studied during our farm day journey and uh, you can also if you like it you can also adopt this habit and so now we are sharing a format so it will make easier for you to make your notes easily and wisely <laughs>